Hi, that's Damien from Anton. We're going to talk about pairing up an Anton device with a um, Android tablet or phone this time. Um, so there's a separate video on iOS, and have a look at that if you've got an iPhone or an, an I, um, iPad. Uh, but this is all about Android. So, first thing to say is, if you've got a V or an Evo, it'd need to be a V3 or an Evo 3. They're the ones with Bluetooth. If you're on Pro, like this one, you can have a Pro 3, Pro 4, Pro 5 or Pro 6. They've all got the Bluetooth uh, in it as standard. So the first thing you're going to want to do, regardless of um, any of those models, is go in and make sure that you are in the uh, sort of Bluetooth um, settings on your analyzer. So go into analyzer settings, scroll down to report. Currently, I've got this set up so it will send the reports to the printer. So we don't want that. You can set it to the mobile app and then it will only send reports across to obviously your device. But most people actually have to toggle between the two and that's what this setting is here, select by keyhole. So if we choose that, then what happens, if I just show you in stored logs, uh, let's find a flu log. So here now I've got the printer mode because um, I was in printer mode last, but I've got three little dots underneath it. That indicates I'm in select by key hold mode. So if I long hold that yellow button, it then changes to the um, device icon and it means I can then toggle between. So now when I press that button, just press it, it will send the, uh, the reports into Bluetooth. If I long hold that again, I can now send it to my ta uh, printer instead. So obviously we want it in, in uh, Bluetooth mode for the purpose of this. So that's all set up and ready to go. Um, Let's concentrate now on the tablet or the phone. So the first thing you want to do is get Sprint Mobile onto your device if you haven't already. You can go in and find it. Obviously, I've got it connected, obviously, but let's go in and find, so you sprint, type Anton Sprint Mobile, and that, there it is, it's come up. So I'm on the latest version. Um, if I wasn't on the latest version and I already had it installed, I'd get an update icon there, and I always recommend you update to the latest version. So it's worth checking periodically if you're on the latest version. Obviously, if you're new to it, it will just say download, and then, then you get to open it from there, um, should you choose to. But once it's downloaded, you would normally open it, obviously, from the, the app icon there, and that's what it looks like. So let's go in and have a look. Okay, so in order to pair these two up, the first thing you need to do is, is go into customers. This is where we're, we're going to connect them up. So it's saying not connected at the moment because it's not, obviously, you know, let's imagine we've just downloaded the app that you're new to it. So what you need to do is go to the options screen here and set up wireless device. So no Anton devices have been paired. So at the bottom, we've got pair your Anton device. So I'm going to press that button and it will take us into the Bluetooth settings. And straight away, it's found my available device. If there was more than one available Anton in the room at the time. Um, you know, some people have got multiple fleets of these things, there could be more than one on. You can check the pairing code on the back here. This is FF1900, and that obviously tallies with the pairing code on here. So I say, yeah, that's the one I want to use. So that's now pairing. Okay, and then, yes, it's paired. So now we've done that, we can use the back arrow, and that will take us back into Sprint Mobile. And there you can see, again, if you've had multiple ones connected, you can see the list check for the pairing code for the one you want to connect to. So I want to connect to that one, so I tap on it. Now it's saying connecting and it's listening. So I'm now ready to send reports. So if I go back into there and choose that flu log, obviously I've got the, uh, the, the, the icon there for Bluetooth, press it and across it comes. And there you are, and that's now created that report. Um, again, you can then email it, sign it, do whatever you need to do. There's other, there's other videos on that. Sometimes people can't get connected. So maybe they've been connected before and they're having problems or they're, they're having trouble getting connected. Just quickly try and talk through some of the things that we found help with that. Um, obviously I am connected now, but if I wasn't, or it was struggling to, it would, it would say connecting and it wouldn't say listening, it will go to not connected. So what you can do, if you're having problems like that, oh, no, that's turning your Bluetooth on and off, go into wireless setup devices, or set up wireless devices again, that little green dot shows I am connected to, and it's it's the, the connection of choice. Again, if you had multiple ones on there, you could see which one you are connected to by that green dot. But if I was struggling, I might what I would do is unpair all devices. So that would just basically wipe all the history of, of its connections. And then I would come out of this, um, and I'd probably now come out of the app. Um, if you want to come out of the app entirely, you can long hold and um, go app info and then for stop and that will close down the app properly.
But basically what I do is do what I've just done, turn the uh, device on and off, turn my instrument on and off, and then put turn them on back on and try and um, do go through the process I've just done again. Um, and that should get you connected. So if you don't, um, have a go, go on our website. Um, all our contact details are on there, um, on the contact page. Get in touch and we'll, we'll try and help you over the phone. Thanks.